Um, most people agree that the spread of online misinformation is a serious problem, but there is much less consensus on what to do about it. Many proposed solutions focus on how social media platforms can or should moderate content their users posts to prevent misinformation from spreading. But this approach puts a, a critical social decision in the hands of for-profit companies. It limits the ability of users uh, to decide who they trust. And having platforms in charge does nothing to combat uh, misinformation users come across from other online sources. For now, it's John Bach, SM21, PhD, 23, who is currently a postdoc at Sanford University, along with MIT professor David Carter, have proposed an alternate strategy. They built a web browser extension called TrustNet that empowers individuals to flag and identify others they trust to assess online content. A decentralized approach puts the power to decide what constitutes misinformation into the hands of individual users uh, rather than a central authority. The TrustNet browser extension works for any content on any website, including posts on social media sites, articles on news aggregators, and videos on streaming platforms. Uh, I think it was really um, finished. It could be senses for all informations because they had been uh, participant said having the ability to assess content and see assessments from others they trust helped them think critically about it. Uh, in today's world, it is easy for bad actors to create misinformation that looks accurate, well-sourced, and carefully argued. The only way to protect ourselves from this flood will be to rely on information that has been verified by trustworthy sources. Tresnet presents uh, a vision of how that future could look. Jay Hunback and Carter detailed their findings in a paper presented at the ACM conference on human factors in computing systems. Their Trustnet browser extension uh, allows users to assess content accuracy, specify trusted assessors, and see assessments from those trusted sources on any website. The researchers found that Untrained users assessed different types of content than professionals, indicating a need for a more scalable approach. They cautioned that allowing users to choose whom to trust could create echo chambers, but suggest a structured approach to identifying trust relationships could mitigate this issue. Uh, Jahanbox wants to further study structured trust relationships and extend the framework beyond the misinformation to filter out content uh, that is not sympathetic to certain groups. And this decentralized approach um, to fighting misinformation um, challenges the notion that individuals cannot assess content. And uh, uh, by making uh, fact-checking available to users and allowing them to choose the content they want to see, Jahan Bakshin Carter are paving the way for a more informed online community.